we are back. Wow. Um, we've all got our arms and legs, or somebody's arms and legs. <laughs> we have the required number of arms and legs. Communally, <laughs> right. not sharing is caring. <laughs> yeah, so our, um, our intrepid explorers have uh, returned to the ship, uh, feeling a bit What do we do away. now? Do you think someone can sew us back up the right way? I don't feel very comfortable. <laughs> you just think about um, how many leg yes. days you have to do to get back to like peak condition. You're like, oh god. <laughs> so, so whose who's legs does he, I actually have? All I know about is the left arm of the girl. And one of my legs. One of your legs? Yeah. I've got. Let's say I've got your right leg. Okay. I've got Xy's right leg. And and so, my right arm. No, your oh. left arm. You got. <laughs> You've got, you've got my left down. arm. You've got my left arm, Derek. Okay. So I think Xy's has got two foreign legs, yeah. and the other two of you have got a leg and an arm wrong. Good. That works. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, Hang on, let uh. me just check. Yeah, maths adds up. <laughs> Am I happy? Yeah, I could say no. something really annoying, like you've Not all got all. one leg and one arm wrong, <laughs> and you're like, wait, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so, I'm so gonna... you rest. You can rest on the ship. You can restore your. Uh, your there is your... no way I'm resting. <laughs> I rest like a baby. I'm, I'm gonna jump. Are there, on are the... there doctors and hospitals? Yeah. Can we just go straight back to a hospital and tell us tell them to sew us back up? Well, you're you're kind of in the middle of nowhere. So it's going to take a while to get to like a big city where there'd be a hospital and potentially that might not be the most satisfactory. So solution. maybe we can hold something over these creatures so that they sew us back the right way together. If he could undo us, he can do us again. Yes, I I agree. Um, I, I'm, I'm looking, I'm going to jump on the computer and see if there's if if there's any record of this happening before, ah. the computer. <laughs> yes. Xy is the computer. I put my hands out. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna tap on my hands and find out some more stuff about him? <laughs> You've got mail. No. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering yeah. what Google returns for waking up with rear lint, rear <laughs> rearranged limbs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've seen Google? Um, Each this letter's different. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be something on record in your ship computer. Um, it's not a common occurrence, even in Numenera. Uh. Um, at least we can right. turn into beetles or anything. Exe, you, you, you have a sort of a knowledge of the geography of this area yes. in the Navic. I also have like a um, in your ship. I also have the ability, kind of like gravitational pulls, magnetic pulls. Like it's kind of like all because gravity is affected by magne like magnetism. So I can kind of sense different stuff mm. about geography. Yeah, I know ground. <laughs> yeah. Just keep saying so, words. That's right. But if we keep talking, so you, I can't roll. You were intending to go actually to a village that's about six hours flying from here, mm -hmm. um, which is a village uh, on the banks of the River Tithe in Navarine called Divi. Uh, and Divi is a bit of a... Well, it's a very small village, mm -hmm. uh, but it is it has a big reputation, at least recently, uh, as being a kind of mecca for Numenera. So you were hoping to find these artifacts and then Sell take them there, them there um, mm. to the great market of Divi um, to trade them for no. Other, don't say trade more. We divvy them up in Divi. Yeah, sorry, Cut. divvy them up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> ah. How did I miss that? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you're gonna do it, and then you're like, and you trade it. I'm like, no. <laughs> sorry. Um. So you also know. That not only is this a place where you can trade um, Numenera, but it's to buy and sell, but it's also a place where there's a lot of knowledge of this kind of stuff. So if there's anyone who is going to have an answer to Derek's question, 
of has this ever happened before? What is this tech that swapped our limbs? How do you reverse it? Let's go to there might Divi. be someone in Divi for that. Oh, you're already on the yeah. way. So it's already kind of on your radar. Right. I mean, there's there is another option. Hmm. I mean, these things are are a kind of a they exist out of phase. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty good with that. And they're they're hiding in this rock formation. And Nathan is pretty good with gravity. And I was thinking maybe that if we combined our two mm. brains, mm. <laughs> um, we could we could attack so not, them. But it'd be a brain on brain battle. It would, yeah. Um, Don't combine them literally, though. This time, <laughs> but happy to happy to head to the the other place as well, and get ourselves yeah, fixed we're, up. We're really un, not well at the moment, like yeah. And we could rest on the way there. Yep, rest on the way there. Get information, come back, destroy them. <gasps> Let's get some information. There might be a clue to how we can solve it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Here comes my snack. <laughs> a little bit each yeah. with a big heart. Oh, look at that. Oh, my wow. Is that... Uh, <laughs> I love that it's... Has that got green on it? Is that why it was see-through? Oh, uh, no. It's got yellow... Yellowness uh, on it. But I think Uber the, is much better where you are. Yeah. <laughs> to the table. We're flying cool. to Divi. I love the sound of the ship. Yeah. Starfinder ships are super cool. They are. Our sounds for them are even better. Um, so I'm flying away, um, and I'm going to yep. do some research, basically following up Derek's conversation. You know, like, can that we get them out of phase? Is there any history on these creatures? Like, they seem to be ancient and old. Yeah, so they're alien creatures that came to Earth in some deep distant past time um, as far as your history in the ninth world they've always been here but it's believed that they haven't always been on earth um, and yeah they they're very you know the, 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 the ones that you initially encountered the regular kind are not crazy overpowered like you could take them down if you got them one at a time um and i felt like that you'd have much more um chance of doing damage if they're in their physical form i think and you you can find out that they need to be in physical form to really do or at least semi-physical to damage you you know so what you know what underbelly's doing? Engaging them in combat is kind of the way to hit them. Hmm. <laughs> You've got to get them angry enough to try and hit you. Well, we've we've got underbelly. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. That's how you turn girl arms into man arms. <laughs> yeah, but then, then you... <laughs> there could also be a sense in which, like, and some kind of energy effect could attack them in their energy state. But I mean, the, the thing that we need to worry about is, is I think the the psychic powers. Like if yeah, if all they can do is turn that on and just mess us up, mm -hmm. how do we protect ourselves against that? With knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think they might have some answers for us at this maybe at this place, at Divi. Mm. Maybe Divi can divvy up some information for us. Oh. One one we mean we're gonna arrive because the landing sound is very cool. Oh yeah, let's arrive now. Okay. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> so less of a I town. That. That is oh actually. wow. So yeah, village village is the right word. Wow. It's that's quite cool. Little. Um there's sort of a bunch of houses and buildings and things. Um kind of dotted around with dirt roads between them. Um, this kind of gives you the vibe, even though this is clearly a modern <laughs> picture. Um, but yeah, it's kind of 
there there is something sort of <laughs> um strange about this place um you know a, a tiny village but there are some large-ish buildings involved are people, really bigger are, than the ones in that photo are people's limbs right all arranged in the normal fashion <laughs> But yeah, it's in a beautiful kind of rolling hill countryside place. Um, quite idyllic compared to the nasty desert ravine that you were just in. Is it accurate in the sense that there's sort of wooden fences and things like that? Yeah. Okay. Love in Numenera, the thing you ask clarification for is wooden fences. <laughs> Does it look normal? <laughs> How normal is that is it? normal? How- <laughs> Uh. Um, all right, well, well, we sort of stagger off the ship in an unbalanced jumble of limbs and, and um, you know, strange gates um, mm. and make our way out to the largest building, I guess. How, yeah. I ask, but these are, weren't they never renowned for their knowledge of ciphers and technology? I look around as I say technology. Yeah, so some of the buildings do seem to have um, some additions and strange kind of things happening with them. Um, hang on, I've got a let's let's change. Oh, Ooh. oh, there you go. I've got a little map. Um, do you want to white widefy that? Yeah, I certainly can. Thing? Oh, cool. Widefy. Wi-Fi. Um, so you guys are coming in on the top left there on that pathway leading in to town. So There's you see a those dome building. houses there on the right. And, <laughs> and yeah, as I said, the, the photo that I found on the internet doesn't quite capture hmm. the eclecticness of the buildings. Um, they're not as samey as that. So this gives you a better idea of, hmm. you know, you've got round buildings and big square buildings and I go to the pool of secrets and demand its knowledge <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a, it's, a, it's a logical thing to do in a town <laughs> um, no I guess I guess we're making our way towards nine well yeah so the first building you come to is three on your right there yeah is it a uh, tavern and the red mare which is as the name might sound a tavern um, the red mare is a, a small tavern uh you could go in or you could walk past. It's up to you. I, don't I do you know. need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've ever walked past a tavern. Just putting it out there. <laughs> I don't I don't know know if we have. Perhaps I'm 17 drinks. You come across <laughs> drinking till I'm unconscious. Maybe the, the, the tavern owner will know who, who the best person to speak to in town is. So, yeah. This must have happened it. before, and this is the closest yeah. town, right? <laughs> Uh, this must have happened before. No, I wouldn't say this is the closest town. It's the closest town that that you might be able to sell what you find if you do. They know about. They know about strange domain. things. Yes, they certainly know about. So maybe like a lot close, of people. Six hours flight in your ship. Ah, so, so people on, would have by, left on from foot, here. That's quite a lot mm. further away. Oh, that's true. Mm. So yeah, uh, the Red Mare is uh, frequented by well-dressed, civilized types sitting around little <laughs> tables having civilised philosophical conversations, sipping expensive drinks in moderation. Uh, this is not your classic fantasy tavern vibe. No. Um, it's much more, you know, they're, they're a bit more I'm civilized. disappointed. Yeah, it's not all beers <laughs> and farts. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, there's, uh, you know, deep philosophical conversations. You, you know, you could be at a... Um, what's the the famous um, oh, the coffee pub in Oxford? I had a mental blank. Anyway, mm. it's that kind of vibe. You, you could be in a university town. Yeah, and everyone here is better than you. <laughs> you don't even need to know. <laughs> totally. they, just, they, they At least they presume they are. So what would you like to do upon entering? <laughs> is this the first bar? Do you bar go to the bar? Would you like a drink? Go- <laughs> yes. I go to the bar... Yep. I need a good drink. What can you offer? Here's the cocktail menu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um the the barman there, uh the owner, um 
hands you a menu, a written menu, and you've never been in a tavern with a written menu before. <laughs> what is this? Just <laughs> give me a beer. I'm good for the cash. Can I just comes download the, the menu? <laughs> <laughs> yep, they, uh, they, they tell you to download a particular app and you have to order from the app. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> have you been to a bar like that? Do I have to anyway. check in too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It takes so long you to get to service New South Wales app going. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah, so... Give me the, mead! <laughs> yeah. Mead? Do they drink mead in Numenera? I don't uh, know. Not Give in this me bar. Numenera mead! Numen mead! <laughs> you look at the barman, he's got a moustache the size of, like... <laughs> I don't yeah, you know what... New yeah, um, yeah, so. the, the owner uh, sort of looks a bit down his nose at you. I keep my um, girly like, hand in my pocket. Um, he, he hands you uh, the drink that you've ordered. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> um, left or right hand? kind of bit. look around at you um, and sort of... Have I have a girly left hand, but it's, I'm working it out. It's already a little bit bigger than it was yesterday. <laughs> She's going to be well happy when she gets it back. I tell you, won't match. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Poor Flair, you'll have you'll oh. have this beefed up arm. <laughs> <laughs> She'll thank me. Someone's got to put in the you know the hard work. I don't know, man. Right, I'm so... trying to keep my figure svelte. <laughs> You'll waste away in no time the way you lounge around. <laughs> Where do you hail from? He asks. I, can I stand behind him and awkwardly point at the ship? <laughs> <laughs> we have flown a long way from frightening circumstances. We have many visitors come to our village. Do you see, often see ones like us with mismatched limbs or <laughs> I love I love for it. For the first time Such he notices <laughs> your mismatched limbs oh my God. Um, and kind of looks a bit surprised and says well this is a curiosity I've never seen this before I just oh. sort of beckons to a, a, a man sitting smoking some strange pipe no, uh, that's sitting at a table nearby and says Visty, look at these look at these strangers look at their limbs what happened to you we were searching for Numenera in the caverns and crevices um, some some distance from here and we came across these know. beings of electricity and light and um, they were out of phase with the rest of the world and when we brought them into phase they hit us uh, they, they looked uh, like a brain with an eye and a tentacle at the bottom of it do you know these creatures? It didn't they sound well. like Aurelians <gasps> oh. Aurelians, I, I think that is what they, they were, yes uh, this, this Visti character is sort of a uh, short and uh, plump man with uh, you know a bit of a, a waddly kind of walk and he waddles over uh, interestedly and pulls out a, uh, a strange kind of oddity uh, from his side. Did we side. just pick up Popper? And he, <laughs> he, he holds it up sort of in front of his face um to kind of look through it at, at hold it my um, left hand my hideous left hand um and he he sort of examines it like this looking up and down and 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 especially kind of paying careful attention to the join where the foreign arm meets the original body yeah uh, he's actually just taking photos for instagram yeah he just goes it's <laughs> definitely an arm <laughs> <laughs> Can you help That's us? What is that thing? I would love to study this in more detail. This is most interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Ah, well, you can study us. Your You're most most welcome, but but can you fix us too? 
Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He sort of just continues to uh, examine you like the, uh, like you're some strange artifact, some specimen. He's not particularly interested in you as a person, more as you as a, you know. Does anyone know anyone who can help us? I love that you're just getting sad, crying, people surrounding you, being interested in you, and you're just like, I don't want to. In the bar I, that doesn't I grab sell this, mead. I, I use my massive arm to grab this guy by the scruff. I approve. <laughs> and I say, and I say listen, I, sh- I demand that you take us somewhere where you can help us or, or leave no. us alone. And then I release him. He, he sort of stops looking through his oddity and he stares you intently in the eye and says, that is not how we do things here. Well, really? Well, how do you do things? <laughs> <laughs> this is a place of great learning, of great knowledge. We do not use such brute behavior to get our way. If you wish for something, you talk about it. There are consequences. Forgive me, young lady. She's not quite herself. As you can see, she's not being quite harmless. You know what I mean? Can you help us? I don't like having this arm attached to me. Nor this leg. I feel weak. I... I am underbelly, but not quite myself. I'm more overbelly these days. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what is your name, sir? My name is Visti. Perhaps I could find somebody to help you. But I'm not particularly interested in doing so. How about this? I step forward and I go, well, they you one day to study me if you are able to help us he sort of ponders that he does it but here's moment. the thing he looks at me I've got two like a chubby leg and a skinny leg but I go along and say my essence is held in this necklace I have lived for millennia one day mm. for help Yes, yes, Very good well. idea. He's quite a fascinating fellow. <laughs> Very well. Nice. I will take you to Colo. Sorry, drama music. Yeah. <laughs> that was a that was I love it that the it's like <laughs> it's great timing. <laughs> it, was, it was also very much like a what a guy would do in a piano in that kind of bar. It would be all like super classical <laughs> yeah. and like like showing off. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Look at me do scales. <laughs> You know uh, Miss America Pie. You know that one. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> so, so he takes you um, down Collop. this main street of town. Um, and you go past Dimner's residence. <laughs> Dimner was the uh, the owner of the Red Mare. Uh, then the this House is- of Tranquility. This is where we go past every Which house that a... would have been more helpful the entire way along. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I had to make a straight to a bar, didn't um, we? He, he explains to you as he walks. Uh, he kind of gives you a, a quick tour. Uh, the House of Tranquility is a, is a meditation sanctuary. Yeah, no uh, it's a place where people go to listen to the silence and learn, to, learn its secrets. Um, and then uh, you go through past a few more places and eventually you get to uh, that number seven on the corner there, which is the Temple of Knowledge. Oh, let's have a look at uh, that. Can we bring the... Please. So, yeah, can we have the map back? Certainly can. Sorry, I forgot you couldn't see the map. I can see the map on my screen, but that's no help to you. Um, there we go. So, yeah, you've gone number down. Seven. Number Temple two there is the House of Tranquility, and number seven is the Temple of Knowledge. Uh, so the Temple of Knowledge is this temple building right in the middle of the town. <laughs> Um, it's quite number- a kind of grand building with big columns on the front. Um, and the there's this sort of 
um, aura around the building. Um, perhaps Exy senses it more than the others. Um, but this is a powerful place. Um, yeah. I sense Visti, the kind of magic I am. Ooh. And Visti, Visti says, um, you are lucky you found me. I can give you audience with Koro, the high priest. Does it does it echo when he says that word? <laughs> Koro, Koro. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you willing this, to go in? Who is this Koro, and why do you think he can help us, or she can help us? You're assuming she gender. is the high priest. She is the most powerful woman in in the world, perhaps, certainly in this part of the world. Lead on, then. Uh, I don't know, man. So he leads you through uh, these kind of columnade entryway uh, into this kind of, uh, you, you know, when you hear it's a temple, you expect it to be as big as a temple. open space. Uh, but actually, it's this kind of labyrinth of, of rooms and corridors and things inside. Um, and you are led kind of through a confusing maze of, of corridors and round corners and intersections and downstairs and upstairs. And you get completely lost in this place. Uh, but Visti seems really confident, like he's been here a hundred times before. Um, and eventually, uh, you come uh, to a really simple Gift wooden shop. door, uh, and Visti knocks on the door, and the door opens of its own accord. Mm. And seated within, at a big oak desk, uh, piled high with with books and strange artifacts and oddities, uh, it's this. Murray. Beautiful young woman, uh, maybe, you know, six and a half, seven feet tall, uh, really kind of striking presence in this room. Uh, and she looks up from her work uh, and looks at Visti and says, oh, Hello, Visti, old friend. Are you keeping well? And he sort of mumbles some vague reply and says, oh, I'm very sorry for disturbing you. Um, these, these, you must see this. This strange event has occurred to these poor, innocent travelers. Come, come look at their arms, look at their legs. And he kind of ushers you in, <laughs> you know, showing yeah. you off. I, I move in and... Um, I'm kind of a bit mouth agape at this at this impressive woman and uh, just kind of hold both my arms out towards her to mm, me too. state the obvious. <laughs> like, hey, look, is... I have my friend's arm here. <laughs> one that's like a, a foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, she, she sort of looks at it kind of She's interested, but not quite as impressed as perhaps Visti hoped she would be. Um, she kind of examines each of your arms methodically and, and, and your legs as well, especially you, Exy. It's just your legs that are the problem, isn't it? I know. Um, yeah. right. It's weird. And, uh, <laughs> and, and she says, what did this to you? A group of people, um, a group of creatures called Arulians. There was three individuals and one king creature with six uh, of their of their kind wrapped around one another. Ah, we blacked an Arulian out. master. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Do you know of these people? Have you seen? Creatures like us before, transformed like this? I have never seen this sort of strange transformation, but I am well acquainted with Arulian and Arulian masters at that. 
They are formidable creatures. You are lucky to be alive. I wouldn't call it lucky. I, I wouldn't call it alive. But, you know... <laughs> to find life in Numenera. <laughs> Can you help us? Can you put us back the way we were before? We would very much like to go back and destroy this Arulio master. Yes. The, the Aralio, right? I don't remember what it's called, but I remember how hideous it looked. We may be able to help you. Perhaps. I would like to better understand what it is that has done this to you. Some very powerful magic or or some I step artifact forward. we've never seen before. I can show you. Oh cool. In the memories. Ah. Yes, let let him let us we will put you on him and uh, him on you and then he can show you his memories, what he has recorded. He is technological. The body <laughs> is just what is carrying him. Our this friend, is... No, keep going, Ben. <laughs> Don't, no, no, no. Nobody interrupt That's him. That's great. Explain, explain. I can explain it technically. There's, there's a, like a, a thing that, and you, and then there's this thing and then you, you and then you see it. And because of, oh, oh, yeah. I want to. She looks, she looks at you, Exy. Uh, dead in the eyes and says you my friend are not what you seem never have none of us are <laughs> <laughs> I've got my hand <laughs> I've got a girl's hand and, uh, I'm not quite sure what happens in the middle of uh. I, I can pass this information on to you freely if you wish but it is up to you of course. And if your curiosity is enough. Mm. I am certainly curious. I would like to better understand what may have happened to you. Well, come forward. And I go like this, and I take the necklace off, and I just hang it at the tip, and I kind of like go into like a half like tranced him. out stage where the body is just like goes near limp, but is just standing. Mm. Mm. Nice. Um, she she takes hold of the necklace and she kind of holds it in the palm of her hand and stares intently at it. Uh, and then she closes her other hand, kind of cupped over it, and there's sort of this pulsing of energy flowing through her hands. Mm. And she closes her eyes and kind of goes into a, a trance herself. To the two of you tranced out face to face. Um, yeah, no and then one. she seems to kind of come to and the energy subsides and she opens her hand and puts the necklace back on Exy's body and says, what you have seen is not worth remembering. Mm. We didn't need no fancy lady to tell us that. <laughs> Can you help us? Perhaps I can. Would you like to be restored? Yes, yes please! <laughs> Definitely. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen somebody <laughs> run faster. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what did I read of her during that? Well, mm, so that's nice. the thing. Oh, you I didn't, thought. she didn't put the necklace on. No. So you got no read of her at all. But I, she seems to have read you, like taken the essence of you mm. and examined it in her mind's eye by some other means that you've oh. never had happened to you before. Mm. But and did, she seemed did I get to know exactly sense? what she was doing. Of anything? <laughs> not of her. Then, but, so definitely not, but did I anyway? <laughs> no, 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 but I was thinking more along the lines of like, yeah. do I sense that she's evil? Do I sense she's good? Do I get any kind of 
there was a sensation. Okay. There was a sensation of of her being extremely powerful mm. and very much in control. But she knew what, what she was doing, so that means she's seen technology like me before, doing. which is. Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen anyone. I haven't seen anything like me before, except no. for when I found my second body. Yeah. Mm. So cool. she knows something about you, perhaps even more than you do. Maybe that's the sense you get, because you don't really know much about how you work, do you? I <laughs> roll every day, and I haven't rolled over five. <laughs> that's right. I was thinking, yeah, if you don't want to tell him additional information, just make him roll for the yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not hedging around that. Just like <laughs> you should. That's it's pretty safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you might. I mean, you might want to ask her about yourself at some point. Maybe not right now in the middle of this conversation. <laughs> but you could tuck that away if you're going to be here a while. Perhaps after she fixes those. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, love, I love the single mind. She isn't working out my left arm. I'm going to lose tone. <laughs> I've told her to do it every day. <laughs> so so she, um, she goes over to a, a sort of bureau in the corner of her office. Um, and she... She taps on on it in a sort of strange pattern. Um, and moments later, her office door opens uh, and there's another woman, uh, not quite as imposing as her, but still a bit intimidating, um, who sort of glides in and says, Come with me, friends. We will help you. I have an amazing, she, like, ritual soundscape that happens over the course of a minute. So when you're ready for it. Oh yeah. Uh, so she's going to lead you, lead you out. Um, it seems that Coro is not going to do the work herself. She's too high up for that. So one of her priests is going <laughs> to take over, um, and she takes you uh, to uh, a. Sort of sparsely furnished, a uh, bit larger room, uh, and in this room, uh, some really rudimentary beds, kind of a foot off the floor. Um, you know, large enough for you to to lie on, like a kind of stretcher, I guess. I'm pretty um, wide. No, not at the moment. Yeah, well, I think, I think, yeah, we'll say that they're wide enough for you. Um, and uh, yeah, she kind of gestures and says, "Please make yourselves comfortable." <laughs> I watch Ben's character <laughs> undeveloped. Make yeah, yourself I, comfortable. Undeveloped life. Most uncomfortable down. I've ever been in my life. This is <laughs> all right. Uh, I sit down. I lie down. I'm eager to be serviced or whatever. Done. <laughs> <Fixed. laughs> Unscrew the hood. Fix it up. <laughs> yep. What about you, Xe? Are you... Oh, I just okay go down into my natural state and I fall immediately asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so so you're asleep. Ben, you're, you're lying down, but a bit uneasy. Yep. And Derek, you're sitting on the stretcher. Is that right? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of waiting for instructions. Hmm. Um, so she doesn't really give you any. Um, she she goes and sort of sits cross-legged on the floor uh, in the middle of the room and closes her eyes uh, and begins to sort of hum to herself. Oh, I'll lie down at this point, I guess. <laughs> ben, do you want to... Um... It's triggering, yep. Oh, right. Nice. <laughs> I just feel like we need the immersion of this moment. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know the best part yeah. is it's going to be this the most amazing soundscape ever with Ben going, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the juxtaposition. There, there you go. go. Nice. nice. So uh, as she hums, uh, you you start to kind of see 
lights kind of dancing in your vision. Um, you feel lightheaded. Uh, there's sort of this sense of, of you're losing control and losing consciousness. You could try to fight that. It sounds like Exy's already embraced it. Um, uh, but actually, no matter how hard you fight it, it eventually rolls over you in this kind of wave um, and you descend into a kind of fugue state uh, where your mind is still, oh, you're still awake, but you're not really conscious of anything around you in any way, apart from the sound of this humming that seems to have filled your whole mind. Well, you don't really have a conscious sense of how much time is passing in that state. These minor chords are not helping. This is very spooky. (laughs) And uh, when you come to, you are in some lovely, plush, warm feather bed. Uh, the three of you are in your own room. You're not each of you aren't together anymore. Um, it's it's very comfortable. It's Literally, very so, peaceful. So when you say we're not together, like yeah. you haven't like was, dis- was dismembered completely. I mean, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, as you as you well, wake up and remember where you were and what was happening, and you immediately examine your limbs, I assume, um, and you find that you have been put to right. Oh, oh, the rain! This is where you zoom out to the moon and you hear this <laughs> distantly in the background. I definitely um, do some cartwheels and and slide around the room on my nano. My oh, do I still have my nano suit? I, I I guess I have to put it on, right? Yeah. You want somebody goes to like skateboard the board's not there (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah so somebody seems to have very kindly put you in these rooms and and taken good care of you um you know these these priests maybe they weren't as sinister as they seemed it was maniacal laughing as we fell asleep that was a real problem, but <laughs> <laughs> it was all those minor chords as well. Yeah, oh, I was like, this is gonna be holy. Perfect. Holy the now. <laughs> yeah. That was really cool. It's awesomely powerful. So we so, steal all their stuff and we leave. <laughs> <laughs> neutral neutral. Yeah, I wouldn't definitely do mess with these people at all. No. Okay. Is there? Yeah. I exit. I exit my room. Is it like a? Is it like a cell? Is it like a priest's? Yeah. Yeah, but it's quite. It's quite lovely. It's like it's comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. Okay. They're not. It's not the kind of priesthood where you, you know, sleep on the floor and take a vow of silence. And, yeah. You know. <laughs> they live. They live quite. Quite lavishly in a way, yeah. Okay. You saw how much they pay for beer. Well, not beer. Like it's not even—they don't even have beer. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I, I exit my room and I look around. Is—is is there anybody there? Is there anybody? You? Yeah. So outside your room is kind of a common room. Oh, okay. Um, and there's a whole bunch of doors that lead into that space, and there's a a big table in the middle with with benches along either side and um, there's sort of some couches off to one side is there anybody around and it's a switch no it's pretty pretty much deserted um it's kind of either but, is deserted or is not deserted <laughs> pretty much is okay yeah no well it's so there's no body there okay. but it looks um, like it is well used yeah like there's people's stuff around Okay. Like people live in this space. This is their living space, but they're not home right now. All Every right. time you use the word body, it freaks me out. Like, no bodies there. <laughs> it's like, did you emphasize the body? I'm <laughs> 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 Um, 
<laughs> yeah, this is the point where they find out that they've put us back in the wrong bodies. We're all assembled. Oh my right god, way, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I, I I knock on the door next to mine in the hope of finding my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Underbelly, you hear a knock on your door. Ooh. Oh, hello? Hello? <laughs> It, it's it's Flair. It's Flair. Are you are you there? Are you whole? Are you well? Flair, I'm back together again. <laughs> I don't have your arm. Do, do I, you have your arm? I, I open the him. door. I open the door and I show my both my arms and, <laughs> and I, I hug Flair with my arms. I, I embrace. I embrace him back. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm so happy. Have you seen Exy? Is he all? Oh, my legs are back too. Not yet. Not yet. Let's find him. And I knock on the door, the third one along, or the next one along. Yeah, actually, you, you hear a knock on the door. I, well, I would still be asleep, wouldn't I? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like the I'm... Knock, the knock would open you, but not with any yeah. sort of fright. <laughs> okay, I just, I, I gently stand up, sit on the side of the bed, stand up, say hello, and gently walk over to the door. I love it. And open. Hello. Oh look, you're up. Come. We are. We must. We must thank these people and and find out what what the the payment is for this service that they have done. Hmm. <laughs> so at that moment, payment. Uh, yes. The the uh, the young the priest uh, comes into the common room and says, Ah. I see you have awoken. How are yes. you feeling? Much better. Thank you. Marvellous. Thank you. Oh. Ah, very, very good. Yes. I do yes, feel normal. Uh, yes, yes. In fact. Yeah, you, yeah, you do. Yeah. You feel, in fact, if you if you haven't changed your uh, health-wise on your character sheets, you are fully healed of okay. every... I just love it yeah, when a player and a character food. could say the same thing. Like you looking at the priest and going, I'm, I'm all right, right? <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Just as good. Like, <laughs> both ways, you, um, you say. And just, I feel my beard to see how much, because he normally shaves. Is, is mm. there very much time has passed by? Oh. Is that your clock? I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah you, you Some, have oh, a it's full beard. A, clock. beard. a full beard. You've oh. lost your beard. Oh, Derek's got it. How, how long have we been asleep? I say, mm. well, can I say the exact amount of time? Oh, you did not. <laughs> like 247 days and 36 hours. <laughs> and yes, I did say 36 hours and not including his day because. <laughs> <laughs> um. I love it. Sure, let's say, what was that, 236 days? And 36 hours. And 36, so 237 no. days and 12 hours. No, you, it's not, <laughs> but it's it's close. Uh, yeah, uh, so the, the priest kind of looks reading around bit, this, these, these, um, um, this rune here, Johnny. Yeah, she looks slightly surprised that you know that so perfectly. Mm. And so also a little bit apologetic, yeah. Yeah. almost, that, that you are, you know under for that crazy length of time <laughs> <laughs> most of a year <laughs> wow what's that is that no it's not most of a year two thirds of a year it was good that i was able to connect yeah. and read some of your connect with you in different ways i appreciate the conversation i look at her I would have appreciated knowing that this procedure was going to take months <laughs> rather than <laughs> you didn't ask i look yes. at him quizzically well, we uh we didn't like to um frighten you too much Maybe. about the uh the severity of your condition <laughs> maybe not so much time passes on the outside of the temple or something maybe like it's just been like <laughs> one day i um Ben had a date. I, 
<laughs> I say, you know, it is it is our plan to go back and confront these creatures. Do you have anything that might help us in that? We would be more than willing to share the spoils with you. I don't know if that is wise. Hmm. She kind of looks uncomfortable. <laughs> why? Why do you say that? Because we are. Why do you say that? <laughs> not. <laughs> we are not up to the task. <laughs> they are quite dangerous creatures, as you experienced firsthand. I still suggested nuking them from orbit. <laughs> Or from at least someone very high up. So they do have shiny things in their possession, including our things. Yeah. <laughs> what what things did you lose? Mm, ciphers, Does it... artifacts, curiosities. Oh, of of course. The Aurelians are collectors of such items, as are many in this village. I had a cube of ice that never melts. It was very useful for making mead cold. <laughs> That's the thing that you miss the most. Yeah, and, and your solution is, Ben, what is your solution? Nuke them from orbit so they can get your things. <laughs> hmm. It appears that the... And then she sort of stops herself like she's sort of about to say something she shouldn't. Oh. And then she goes on. Look. You are not safe in this village, I don't think. And I must admit it, to my shame, uh, <coughs> perhaps I shouldn't. We have taken some some liberties in the last <laughs> months. Ben, you're looking down at your hands. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what do you What do you mean liberties? The Look. This place is not everything that it seems to be, perhaps, to you as outsiders. We are so hungry for knowledge. There are many here, many of my sisters particularly, who would do anything to know more and more of everything there is to know. And I fear we have gone too far. Mm. I, I assure you, we haven't done anything permanent besides taking Scarring much too much of your time. <laughs> but you have... <laughs> you have observed us and gathered information. Can I... We know each of you. And, and with that, she looks very intently at you, Exy. Oh, I know. Because I, know... I... Can I be of conscious the entire time, <laughs> but just lying there? Oh, like, no. as if, like, like, it was something to do. Like, I was waiting for everybody else well, to wake all... up. As I like, all of you were kind of conscious through the whole thing, but the only thing you were conscious of was the sound, like that. It's so it's really... not like you were asleep, particularly. It was more like you were in a kind of fugue state, trance state thing. Hmm. But yeah, I, maybe Exy, you were a little bit more conscious of stuff outside of that. But it's kind of like they had this ability to have all of your attention drawn to that one thing so that you weren't attentive of what was happening to your body <laughs> or the passage of time or anything else but it's not like it's not like sleep but mm. yeah but i still have my like my little clock in the corner in the bottom like the bottom of the screen that told me the time <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> your cpu clock <laughs> so yeah yeah you kind of have more of a sense of what Happened and I would have had like the, the locks if they go and do any they did anything to me. There'd be some something there, I'm sure. Yeah. And yeah, and they've 
they've studied you, you know, <coughs> completely down to a they broke molecular level. They broke yeah. the vow. I said one day, and they broke it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And as a neutral, neutral character, I am now in my right to destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> You come from space. Yes. <laughs> um, she she leads you to the window um, of this common room, and she points outside. Uh, and in the courtyard below, you see um, a, an iron, or well, seemingly iron, iron looking. There's Numenera, so nothing is necessarily what it looks like. Mm-hmm. But this kind of metal cage, uh, and in the cage is this creature that's sort of you know wild scraggly hair covering its whole body um humanoid but doesn't really look human um and it's sort of prowling around pacing around in its cage and she says this is what has troubled me most greatly these past years. And I swore to myself that when you awoke, I would tell all. Didn't think it was going to be You must help me. You must stop this madness. Yes, yes, we can help you. what, What can we do? Everyone seems so powerful in this place. Oh, they are. But this is the source of their power. I have been studying and learning and digging into all of the libraries of, of of the village and of the temple, seeking to know all there is known. Many, many years passed, there was a young man, a young man whose name I have learned was Tombo Karlsender. The youngest son of eight sons. And, well, the priests here found a way to to take from him and give to others. Harvest. I'm going to just say the word. (laughs) Yes. Perhaps that is the word. To, To take his lack his lack of focus, his lack of self-control, his lack of intelligence. I'm feeling very attacked right now. <laughs> to take all of that and, and and put it on the whole town. He is the scapegoat. They say it's for the greater good, but somehow I don't quite believe it anymore Hmm. so you did believe it (laughs) of course I served here as a priest for many many years and only now Mm. after all the knowledge you've gained you choose to be so forthcoming I don't believe anymore. Hmm. So how can we help with this problem? Yeah. <laughs> what she said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like. would like to help. <laughs> I believe that if we can free the wild man and somehow restore Tombo. I don't know. Perhaps it is too late <coughs> to reverse what has been done. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps we just continue as we are. No, 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 no. We can, mm. we can help you. I You've think. been so kind to us. I love that Ben becomes this good Samaritan now of helping <laughs> people because he got helped. <laughs> I have two arms which are both strong. It makes me know. very happy. 
My I don't know what happened to our friends who sat in the ship for a freaking year while we <laughs> 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 I had a library book out, but these are astronomical! Boy, these guys are really taking a long time on this And I have to pay by the picture. <laughs> we, um, yeah, we don't normally deal with that, do we? We just kind of... <laughs> this, this Numenera Pulled adventure has had so many head. incarnations and yeah. added and subtracted characters from the party. And <laughs> so cool. We just, we pretend that doesn't, doesn't matter. Do you know the best part is? It's like a plot hole. We just had we just had we had the keys, and they were in there, and they're like. (laughs) We come back and they've formed their own little society. Maybe they've just been living in the town and drinking at the Red Mare, and they now drink with their wondering where you've got to. (laughs) (laughs) Took a took a took a short course in like sort of you know various different types of arcane mathematics. Yeah. Yeah. Went up nine levels. <laughs> Maybe they weren't in the ship. Maybe they'd gone off on a side quest before you mm. went to the ravine. Mm. And they came back Maybe. with more than we have and ever And they came back to the meeting adventure. place. <laughs> they came back to the meeting place at the appointed time 200 and something days ago and you didn't yep. show up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally we like, off. you were like six hours late. 200, <laughs> oh 230 hours it was meant to be. But... <laughs> Fantastic. I like that. I look at her and say, well, obviously you have a plan if you were to tell us. You wouldn't have told us if there was no chance of success. Yes, we, we free the werewolf thing and then we restore him. But how do we do that? Is, is the power and knowledge stored in some object or safe? Or I, I can break things? <laughs> I have my hands back. <laughs> <laughs> I love at the I end believe. of every se- sentence you end with, m- and my <laughs> arms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe Koro, the high priest, must have some receptacle of, of what is being drawn out of him. If we can break. <laughs> that link between the two or even reverse the power and return it to him. Ooh, Can we murder Koro? But isn't, <laughs> isn't she super powerful? <laughs> My arms are very strong. <laughs> oh yes, she is she's a great great powerful being. Beyond even my comprehension. But we are not working completely alone. I like that in your head you had a montage of you snapping her in every single way. Like you snapping her above the head, you snapping her back on the knee, snapping her against the door. Like it's it's what the the, the audience doesn't get to see that's cool. Hmm. So I I will go with you. We must plan carefully. I have been thinking about this for a while. Yeah. We should leave this place. Leave this temple. Well, we can certainly accommodate you on our ship. Would that be helpful? We, we have some new rooms made of vacant. <laughs> <laughs> First, we must visit Crivendo, the librarian. Oh, yes? He's been helping me a great deal in my quest to uncover these things. A librarian. Good idea. Yes. You'd be a nice librarian. to him now. Conan the librarian. <laughs> like a, Exy, like a dog nice. with a mailman. I'm like, <laughs> Take um, us to the library. Cool. Why so you go to the library, um, which is on our map. Should, should, we, should we see yeah. the map? And yeah. Hooray! If you press Technology. wide source, it'll go wide for you. Oh. I can do that. Uh, so, um, <laughs> the library's only only two doors down. That's number six there. Can I just say, um, we're in oh, number seven? The can the number knowledge. one be the hmm. cart of stuff? <laughs> no, number one is no, the wild the man's, man's cage. cage. Um, oh, that's, that's Tombo. They keep cage. it in the street. How inhumane! Yeah, just attached right to the, the straw the that goes directly to her office. <laughs> Um, 
so yeah, there's a sort of a um uh, I don't a culture in the village of all of these very highly intellectual um great deep thinkers having these deep philosophical conversations in the red mare and studying things um and you know collecting knowledge and artifacts and ciphers and oddities and things and they all just kind of turn a blind eye to this wild man in a cage right in the middle of town out in the open where everyone has to walk past every day but they've kind of learnt to just accept that that's the way things have to be. I love the twist and wow. turn of this, by the way. I'm just saying, like, ignorance. I was like trying to work out where you were going. It's like, is the intelligent yeah, good? Is the intelligent cool. bad? Is the strength? I'm like, I don't even know. What's the moral? <laughs> I'm so confused, but I have yeah. arms. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So. so cool. So can we find somewhere to basically huddle down and hide? Like, is that, is that the idea? So I think the library, I think that um, the library is where Crofter wants to take you. Yeah. Because uh-huh. um, she has a friend there. He knows her, her, knows what she knows and perhaps even knows what she intends to do with what she knows. Um, she might not have many other friends like that. But does she know that he knows think? that she knows? <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely gonna need. We're gonna need one of those recaps. Nathan, make sure Johnny records us a recap at the end of this, 100%. so we can play it back yeah. to us all next week and be like, "Yes, I definitely remember that." <laughs> I was asleep for a year. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are we going for time? By the way, the time is done. ten forty-seven p.m. I think we should. Oh, probably seems like wrap it up. Yeah, I think it seems like a reasonable yeah. place to. So we can secrete ourselves safely in the library, or we're gonna, mm-hmm. we'll start meeting the librarian next time. That sounds good. Yeah, I think this is work a good, out a plan. A kind of to f- end of one act. Yeah, to start the next act. Amazing. Narrative wise. Yeah, it's not a cliffhanger. I know you guys like to finish on a cliffhanger. I, I think but... we've got a lot of information that's going to mull in our brains and excite us yeah. for the future. It's super cool, Johnny. Yeah. And we've got to know the characters really nicely. It's really good. We've, uh, it's, it, yeah, it's really nice. The one thing that broke you was I lost my arms. Then I got it back. I'm so. <laughs> That's right. I feel like I've gone on such a journey. You know, yeah. you start with no arms, sorry, yeah. with normal arms. You, yep. In the middle, it's like you have Dis- weird arms, and then you end with normal arms. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And we've kind of yeah we've we've done that narrative it's arc. arc. Yeah. <laughs> And but we've also dovetailed with the next one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's so cool. Were the brains floating worse than the brains you already had? Oh. Uh, yeah. It makes or you, the brains it makes in this village. Think, or is thinking the worst the enemy, so you yes. shouldn't think and then Yes. Yes. And that that first encounter really cost you an arm and a leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of frantically working out this girl's arm to try and like get it to match kind of thing and looking you know sort of I love eventually that you knew it was like a 19 it was like being age specific <laughs> is not a good thing like, <laughs> it says on my character sheet that she's 19 so I, I know that you I knew you drew something of that but when you said a 19 year old hand I'm like that is a that is an oddly specific thing to be able to reference to at hand. It's age. Yeah, that's right. Like a... That's right. Well, yeah, sorry. My friend, who, who's a lot younger than me, obviously. That's right. Oh, that's very really funny. Wow. That was awesome. Thank well, you so much. Jenny. Thank you all. That's thank amazing. You, viewers. Amazing. The chat. I get the from the world off. Yeah, you guys literally were really long. Yeah, that was really amazing. Very atmospheric. And I, it was wonderful getting to use the healing hand sunset, which I'm very proud of. It's very, very cool. That resurrection. Yeah. That's the resurrection yeah, ritual cool. sound, yeah. 90 seconds of epic minor chords descending horrendously. Those how should say, never be touched. The minor chords <laughs> just change the mood. Like Johnny, yeah. I reckon yeah. Johnny changed the story because of the minor chords. He's like, and then <laughs> yeah, I'm slightly she suspicious. murdered you. I can say, Thank you for being awesome. with us, everyone. Well, thank you right. so much. I definitely, want to everyone. Con- I definitely want to continue this next week for sure. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, guys. I need to press the button. See you soon. New right. from space button, is still an option. <laughs> Catch you guys. Boy. Bye. Bye.